Hi, it's Rich at Marvelous Ministries. Another thought for today is about observing a young puppy that was dropped off at a house I was working at. Uh, the son of the couple I'm working for dropped off the dog and put this little cute little puppy in a crate and left it and went back to work. And, and my friend's wife is not supposed to be home until about four hours later. And I just was moved and felt for this, this puppy that needed to be out and held and loved and, you know, spent time with. And, and I accidentally texted uh, my friend's wife and had said something to my wife about that puppy needs to be out of the crate, needs to be held and loved and cared for. And, and when I did that, it gave her an opportunity to send a message back, which then led me to this revelation. She said, well, the puppy uh, goes potty all over the house, so she needs to stay in the crate. I said, that's fine. I wasn't going to let her out. Not my dog and not my house. But, but I thought about it. And I thought about us with other people. See, we have people that maybe like that dog don't do things right. Maybe it's children. Maybe children have made choices and done things that you've got very upset with. And like with a puppy, do you stop loving the puppy, the dog, the pet, whatever it is, because it's disobedient? And it made me think about God towards us. Does God stop loving us because we're disobedient? Hmm. And if we are to be like Christ, live like Christ, we need to love the same way he does. And God loves us enough to send his son to die for us on the cross. To give us what we need. Love gives what we need. Okay. Do we love people and give them what they need? So that is my thought for today. Do you love people that hurt you? Do you love people that are disobedient? That break the rules, break the law, or whatever. We need to protect law-abiding citizens from law-breaking citizens. But how do we teach our children? Do we teach them with love or discipline? I grew up in a house that had just discipline. I didn't feel loved. So I just am sharing this with you transparently. See, if I hide my life, my pain, my suffering, my failures my victories or whatever from people and slide into heaven going, thank God nobody found out. Whereas if I share things transparently, maybe somebody will get an answer to something that they're struggling with. Maybe they'll reach out and get help from somebody. I didn't have help when I grew up. I was essentially on my own. And I learned a lot of things the hard way, the wrong way. And I hope by sharing with other people they can relate to something that I've gone through or am currently going through and how I'm dealing with it. And hopefully I'm dealing with it more like Christ than my old nature. Thanks for watching. This is Rich.